Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Maybe it is bedtime for all you lovely people out here in the magic world. This is Lady Lisa from Philadelphia, but not in Philadelphia today. And what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to do some demonstrations of candle, candle work, uh, some readings. Did they go through? Did they work? How do I know did they work? And what do I do with candles when I'm done with them? Okay, so... If you're just tuning in, I'm sure you know a little bit about me. I'm a goofball, but I'm as real as they come. And I'm ghetto fabulous, and I have OCD, so bear with me as I'm very, very, very extremely precise when it comes to this shit. I might goof around a little bit, but maybe not. All right, so we're going to start with the first candle. And I'm going to do it real brief because you cannot see the names on the back of this candle for confidentiality reasons. All right. See? You're right on the back. <laughs> or better yet, I'll just come over here without putting somebody on the camera. Because he'll have a fucking conniption fit. If he's on camera. So anyway... These right here are two hexing candles, not hex remove, hexing candles. As you can see, they're just getting started and prepared for Sunday night as we do all our casting on Sunday night. Now, do, do either of them matter? Is this one better than this one? No, it's all in preference. This is my favorite candle, death unto my enemies. Now, when it says death, does it mean actually killing somebody? No. It just means you're going to stop something from happening. You want to either stop their job. You want to stop their marriage. You want to stop their bullying. You want to stop their bullshit. Whatever it is that you want to do. Now, this would be my, my hexing candle of choice. As you can see, I'm trying very hard for you guys. Is this my husband's candle? <laughs> You should see the way he's looking at me. Let me let me put the name. Well, it says your last name on there, but it's somebody else's. <laughs> no, it's not yours, and it's not from me. It's for a client, but they have your last name. I didn't ask you. This bastard. I'm going to throw fire, I mean, oil on him and light him up. All right, so come on now. <laughs> Hold up. Let me turn it around so you crazy people can't see it and i wish i had my damn holder huh all right so here's my favorite one when somebody if well if we're hexing somebody you know, there's many ways to hex people but we like to go with the the most easiest resort which would be the candle the doom candle or the mc me candle okay and um you know it got all this fabulous shit on it as you see, to convey bad luck, you know, misfortune, you know, everything that you want somebody to suffer when you want them hexed. You don't want them to have happiness. You don't want them to have love. I mean, that's obvious, right? So then on the back is where you're going to put their names and everything that you want to happen. I can't show you that for the privacy of the person. Now, when you're preparing the candle, all right, the first thing you're going to do when you get the candles, you're always going to sage the candle inside and out. You're going to take your sage. You could do it with holy oil. You could do it with spray sage. You can do it with, uh, you could do it with multiple things. But you always want to clean the candle inside and out as it can be around negative energy and negative things could have touched it. As you have cleansed your circle, you are prepared for the casting. Everything is clean. Everything is ready. Now, I love working with glitter. I feel like glitter, glitter is magical, especially red glitter. Red glitter, coffee will speed your spell up. It is, it's called a speed spell. This can go for any spell that you do in life. If you add red glitter and coffee, it will speed your spell up. And I will be looking at this video before I post to make sure that nobody's information has been seen. Now, so you've done sage, you're ready to go, right? Okay, you have the candle. Now, I work, in, I work in threes. I work in the number three. So, I am going to take my little athame or athame, however you want to pronounce it. 
and I am going to put three very large holes in this candle and I am going to go clockwise because I will not me I'm doing it for somebody wanted to go to the person if I wanted to reverse I'm going to go counterclockwise but because I want to take it to the person I'm going to go clockwise so I would put three big giant holes and I would go deep down into the candle as I could go now why do we do this well one I want you to be working with the number that you're most comfortable with. And I got to watch the time because I have a private reading soon. I want you to be careful with the number that you're working with, but I want you to become comfortable with the number you're working with. The purpose of the holes is so that when you pick your certain herbs and your oils, you want to saturate the holes, not only so it can get down into the candle and penetrate the candle and help the magic work properly and effectively, but so it won't mess with your wick. If you punch too many holes in your candle, you're going to wind up having a completely open candle, okay? And you don't want that because then you're going to wind up boiling it up as the flame gets hot and destroying your wick. And if you destroyed the wick, well, then you're going to have to do the spell again. That's a fact, okay? So once you've done that, try first, you know, when you get your candle, always make sure that the wick is as centered as possible. That's, that's a real must. And if it isn't, and you desperately need the candle, then learn how to fix it. I've done videos on that too, and I could redo them again. They're real simple to fix if they're not straight and centered. Um, so then once you've done that, you're going to add whatever herbs and oils that you like. Okay. I put some blue glitter in here so far i got still holes to make and i still got other things to add to this i got the hexing oil the confusion oil um the turn back oil i mean i got so much stuff it's crazy and hey that's what witches do that's what we do and then you're going to write all over your candle you're going to write whatever you need to write whether it's for you you're hexing somebody or you're doing it for somebody else be careful when you're dressing the outside of the candle because if you dress the outside of the candle, which I've done many a times, you will erase what you <laughs> wrote on the candle. And then when it comes time to read the person their candle results, like I do, and many witches won't do that and many spellcasters won't do that, but I feel that it's very um, respectful to read somebody their candle resu results, you will have lost mostly everything that you had put on the candle because most of the time, if you're going to dress your candle, you're going to put oil on the candle. So be very careful with that as well. Okay, so hypothetically, let's start from the beginning. We got the candle, okay? We've saged it. We cleansed it. We're ready, okay? You've done roto on the candle. You did what you want. You've done your three holes. Let's say you're doing your three holes clockwise. You've put in your herbs. Now, boom, you're ready to light it. Go ahead and light the candle. Make sure at the bottom that you've got your ring around the bottom, which is going to be regular table salt, but it has to be saged. You're going to have sea salt, black salt, or graveyard dirt. And graveyard dirt is my favorite as it does protect the best, okay? All circles will have to be saged. If you're going to get graveyard dirt, and it's not going to be from a spiritual store or metaphysical store or myself, you must know better how to go in that graveyard and retrieve it property properly, or you will have pre-precautions. So why do you put the candle in the circle of the salt or whatever you're using? And why do you cleanse that? Because whenever you're doing a spell, there is unseen forces that will come to just destroy it. Yeah. Come on, Lisa. You got braces and you're in a rush, but fucking get it right. You're going to have unseen forces that are going to come and try to destroy the spell, especially if you're hexing somebody. Obviously, they're not going to know they're being hexed. But they do have protectors in the other realm on the other side, just like you do. Our loved ones, whoever they call upon, blah, 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 blah. So if you do not protect this candle, then the unseen forces will have the biggest and best chance of getting to the candle and destroying it. And I'm going to show you a destroyed candle. And I'm going to tell you why it got destroyed. Okay, so that's how we do hexing candles, okay? And if all was done and said and, and done correctly well then the person will be hexed what are you saying what are you asking ask it again mm-hmm okay what happens what happens when you light the light okay this is a 7 to 14 day candle please understand please understand before I crack you with the candle only kidding 
Please understand that 7 to 14 days does not mean 7 to 14 days. Under no circumstances do you leave any candle burning in your home when you're not in the home. And don't even leave it burning if there's other people in the home because nobody should be near your casting or your spells but you or the people you're casting with. So just pinch it out. If you got strong fingers like me, pinch it out or snuff it out with a snuffer. They're real easy to get and purchase. You can get them at your secondhand store. Or, uh, or no, not or, never blow this out. Never blow this flame out. If you blow the flame out, you blew away the fucking magic. I don't care what anybody told you. I'm telling you as a traditionally taught witch of 44 years of age, been doing this since five. If you blow this sucker out, you've done destroyed the magic. Now, just because you lit the flame does not mean the magic is going to start immediately. And just because the candle may burn for 45 days does not mean it's going to take 45 days for the magic to start. Okay, when the magic begins is when it's up to the universe. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Not when the flame is lit, nor when the flame goes out. Nor when the candle is started, nor when the candle is done. Capiche, 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 capiche. All right, next one. What do we have here? A most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful money candle. Try not to show you this name because obviously it either wasn't red yet or it was and I forgot. So, as you can see, at the top, we got a lot, a lot of white darkish soot, right? And it comes to about right here. Right here. And because it came down about this far, but then clear completely up and went straight through to the bottom, this is going to be a definite definite success candle. If this if the soot had been darker and would have came down further and wouldn't have cleared up and wouldn't have burned straight to the bottom, well then I would have said that this was a failed spell. And there are many reasons why this spell could have failed if it did. And I'll show you a failed spell. And then you can ask me why, down below, why did it, why did it fail? Now, the way I dispose of candles, and I dispose of them quite quickly when I'm done, unless I'm extremely busy, is all I do is rinse them out with regular spigot water. I thank who I called upon to help make the spell a success. And then out it goes. Okay, if it's a hexing candle, I usually smash it with a hammer in a bag. I rinse it out. I give my thank you to who I called upon to help make it a success. I'll smash it with a hammer and out it goes. If I don't have enough time, they get rinsed and out it goes. But that's how I dispose of my candles. You do it any way you feel comfortable doing. They're your candles. They're your spells. And if I'm going quite quickly, so what? comment below i'll clarify and do another video it ain't no big deal to me another successful money candle this one doesn't have nearly as much soot at the top okay definitely clear at the bottom straight through to the bottom definitely another successful money candle okay and don't forget people's peep peep peeps money comes in many ways shapes and forms all right you ready to see a fail candle we're going to show you a failed money candle. And I'm going to tell you exactly why this is a failed money candle. You see how black this shit is? You see how black this candle is? And look how black it gets all the way down. And so what that it clears up right about here and burns straight to? This is a failed fucking candle. Now you say to yourself, how can somebody fail a money candle? Well, as a traditional witch, what do I give out, babe? What do I give out before a spell? Instructions. Right. I give out three simple universal laws. They're real simple. And if you don't abide by these rules, well then, you will have failed or destroyed your candle. You may even backfire your spell. And the one thing you don't want to do in life is backfire a spell because exactly what you want is you're going to get the exact opposite. Okay? the exact opposite so if anything don't fuck up just don't fuck up but if you're gonna fuck up don't fuck up to where the spell backfires just let it fail seriously just abide by the rules how about that it's real simple like real come on simple okay so want to see a big candle i'm gonna show you all a big candle now Oh, here's another hexing candle. See how many people are getting hexed in this world? 
my m biggest demand in spells is to unhex and hex. Don't play people. Don't play Eve, even 50 Cent, babe. What's that song, Many Men? Mm -hmm. You all know the rapper, the singer 50 Cent, right? Well, he got a song out called Many Men. If you never heard it, what's this album, babe? What's the album? I know. What's it called? Get Rich or Die Trying. Go, go read it. I mean, go listen to it. Many men. He even talks about a, a woman putting a hex on him. So, the stuff is real. These candles are in high demand. Am I correct, babe? We got to order like 100 to 200 in a month in advance because I have so many clients wanting people hexed. And um, I got so many clients getting unhexed. It's unbelievable. All right, so... This is my candle, y'all. And guess what? I don't think I've ever done this before. But I'm going to show you one of my candles and how it was a no good candle. And I'm going to tell you why it was a no good candle. Because there's fucking haters everywhere. Do you hear me? Haters everywhere. Now, as a witch, psychic, medium, high priestess, whatever, spellcaster, master spellcaster... You should always, unless you're on tour or you're hopping from here, 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 or whatever it is you're doing like me, you got to have a reverse candle burning at all times. And I should even have one on me at the moment, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, hard to get some of that shit on a plane. All right. But we can do it as witches, but it, it'd still be hard. So anyway, this is a double action reverse candle. This was the reverse, some negative energy that I could already feel was coming my way. I won't tell you whose exact names I put on the front of it, but you can see I added all enemies on the back. And now, as you see at the bot at the top, all this black. It wasn't so much a fail candle, but I'm explaining to you what happened. You see all the black at the top. That definitely meant that there was hate coming my way. No, these people were not witches. And no, these people did not have enough strength nor or powers to, to harm me. But this lets me know that there was definitely negative energy coming my way. Okay. And as you can see, as we go to the bottom, it does clear up. But then the candle just stopped burning. It just stopped burning. Look at all the wax that left at the bottom. So I had to redo it again. I don't think I have the other candle here with me. The, the other one that turned out better and turned out right. But this had to be redone again because there was so many people hating on this beautiful lady Lisa of yours who does such great, wonderful things for everybody. And because they're just haters, instead of embracing the love, they just want to hate because they don't, you know, love their self. They're fucking shit bags. But whatever. This is what you got to do in life. This is what you got to do. Keep a steady reverse candle going at all times. So as soon as that shit tries to come and attack, you can reverse it right back. Just keep it burning. As soon as it goes out, burn it up right again. Just burn, 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 burn. So I'm showing you all this is a result of my candle at one point in time where negative energy was coming my way. I could feel it. Shit was not going right. Me and the hubby were fighting. There was chaotic mess going on. Um, and here's the result black 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 at the top nasty nasty fucking black and then the candle just stopped burning just stopped burning all on its own now something that me and the coven sisters have come up lately is the speed spell okay which we're doing speed spells and we also came up with um a candle that we make now where we can give to you and we give you instructions with it and here's the close mode that's always my signal that I got to get off and prepare for the private reading that I got. We're doing, uh, we're making candles specifically for your needs with instructions. And then when it blows out, when it burns out, which it will on its own, we then read it and tell you what's going on in your life. That's a different type of reading we're now doing through a candle. If interested, comment below and let me get going before it shuts off. You know what to do. Hit subscribe, hit the bell button, comment below, get with me for a reading, a spell, hypnosis, anything you may need. Um, catch up with me. Any hate bombs, negative, you're getting blocked and reported and I might throw a hex on your ass Sunday night. Other than that, all love and all respect and all nothing but love and respect on this channel. Gotta go peeps. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye bye.